Hey everyone, welcome to our channel ITM Leap. Today we are going to take you through a very important concept in maths, which is polygons. We are going to discuss interior and exterior angles of polygons along with the various formulae that you need to learn and apply to questions from this topic. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is the term polygon. Well, in simple words, a polygon is a closed figure made up of straight lines. And there could be any number of lines, but a minimum of three would be required for a closed figure. Most polygons are named according to the number of sides they have. So, if it's a three-sided polygon, it would be called a triangle. Here, you can see a seven-sided polygon. It's called a heptagon and so on. A couple of things that we should know. A polygon with n sides has n vertices. So, for this seven-sided polygon, if you count the vertices, they would also be seven. At each of these vertices, there is an angle sandwiched between the sides of the polygon, which brings me to the concept of interior angles. As the name suggests, interior angles are angles inside a closed figure. So these yellow ones are all interior angles of this heptagon. These green ones are the interior angles of this triangle. The next thing that you would like to know is how to calculate the sum of these interior angles. And it would be best if I take the triangle as a starting point for this question. We have learned in our maths classes that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. This fact has a very simple and elegant proof. All you need to do is draw a line through the vertex, which is parallel to the base. Now this and this angle are equal because they are alternate interior angles and so are these two. They are equal. Since angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees, that proves our required condition that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. This triangle sum is the only fact that you need to know for other polygons. So next, I'm going to ask, what's the sum of the interior angles of a four-sided figure known as a quadrilateral or a five-sided figure known as a pentagon? Here is one very smart tip for you. Think in terms of triangles. Divide the polygon into triangles. The yellow ones are the interior angles. And if we draw a diagonal right across, it is easy to see that the sum of interior angles of this quadrilateral will be equal to the sum of angles of these two triangles, the first one and the second one. For each triangle, the angle sum is 180 degrees. And so the angle sum for the quadrilateral will be two times 180 degrees, that is 360 degrees. Next, we have the pentagon. To divide this into triangles, we can pick any one vertex and draw all possible diagonals. So, one and two, two diagonals possible, and the pentagon has been divided into three non-overlapping triangles. One, two, and three. Sum of interior angles of pentagon will be three times that of a triangle. Three times 180 degrees is 540 degrees. Now it's not possible every time to draw a figure. Supposing they ask you the angle sum for a 13-sided figure. I bet you will have a tough time drawing a 13-sided figure, leave alone partitioning it into triangles. So what we need is a general formula for a polygon of n size, isn't it? So let us try and derive the formula. Let us suppose we are given a heptagon, a seven-sided figure. All we need to know is the number of triangles we can divide it into. So we pick any one vertex, say this one, and we draw all possible diagonals from this vertex. So how many triangles are formed? One, 
2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 triangles. Can you notice a pattern here? In the quadrilateral, you could form 4 minus 2, that is 2 triangles. In the pentagon, there were 5 minus 2, that is 3 triangles. And in the heptagon, there are 7 minus 2, that is 5 triangles. This is very important point to note. In any polygon, the number of triangles that can be drawn are 2 less than the number of sides. In other words, a n-sided polygon can be divided into n minus 2 triangles with each triangle contributing 180 degrees. And therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. In case of heptagon, it is 5 into 180 degrees, that is 900 degrees. Before we move on to practice questions, here is the logic behind number of triangles. Think of it this way. Since we are drawing diagonals from any particular vertex to divide the polygon, except for these two sides of the polygon containing that vertex, how many remaining sides are there? Always n minus 2 sides. For each of the remaining n minus 2 sides of the polygon, there exists one triangle with that side as the base of that triangle, side opposite the vertex. See for yourself, the green pen is marking out each of the remaining five sides and the five corresponding triangles. So how many triangles? The answer is n minus two, each contributing 180 degrees to the angle sum. application of what we have learned to other common polygons, say a hexagon or octagon. Hexagon, number of sides is 6. There would be 6 minus 2, that is 4 triangles. So sum of interior angles will be 4 into 180 degrees, that is 720 degrees. And octagon, number of sides is 8. There would be 8 minus 2, that is six triangles. So sum of interior angles will be six into 180 degrees, that is 1080 degrees. Next, let's try out a reverse question. You can always pause the video to try it out at your own comfortable pace. So the question is, sum of interior angles of a polygon is 1980 degrees. How many sides does this polygon have? We start by assuming the number of sides. Let us suppose they are n in number. Sum of interior angles, which is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees, is given to be 1980. We simplify. 180 into 11 is 1980. So this angle sum is equivalent to how many triangles? 11 triangles. n minus 2 is equal to 11 and therefore n is equal to 13. Moving on, let's discuss exterior angles of a polygon. If the side of a polygon is extended, the angle formed outside the polygon is called an exterior angle. So let us suppose we are moving in the clockwise direction. Follow the red pointer. First, this side gets extended. Next, this side gets extended. Next, this one. Then, this one. And finally, this one. The colored angles between the sides formed on the outside of this figure are exterior angles. Now, I'm going to show you how these lines and angles merge into one point and what is the relationship between these angles? Observe carefully. Here we go. So that's it. If you slide each of these sides to one point, see that the exterior angles fit snugly around a single point. 
and we know that angles around a point always add up to 360 degrees. So this is proof that sum of exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degrees. The best part is it is always 360 degree regardless of the number of sides. Now to tackle the questions on angles comfortably, there is just one more formula that you need to know. What is the relationship between an interior angle and the exterior angle? Well, since they are angles on a straight line, they will always add up to 180 degrees. With this in mind, let us try out the question on the screen. Calculate the exterior angles of this irregular pentagon. And we can see that the interior angles are given. So for an irregular polygon, these angles are not equal. Some are larger and some smaller. Exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus the interior angle. Let us calculate these turn by turn. This angle will be 180 minus 99, that is 81 degrees. This one will be 180 minus 117, which is equal to 63 degrees. This one is a right angle, so the other will also be a right angle because 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. This will be 180 minus 156, which is 24 degrees. And the last one will be 180 minus 78, that is 102 degrees. Now we are going to discuss some related formulas for regular polygons. Apart from the number of sides, one important criteria for classification is whether their sides are equal or not. A polygon is called a regular polygon if all its sides and thereby all its angles are equal. In contrast, an irregular polygon like the ones on the right of the screen has an irregular shape because the sides and angles are unequal. Sometimes they ask you the measure of each angle in a regular polygon. It's quite simple if you know the formula for the sum of interior and exterior angles. You have to just divide the sum equally over all angles, which means divided by n to get measure of each angle. So let us try out a question on this concept. Calculate the measure of each interior angle and each exterior angle of a regular octagon. Now octagon means eight sides. N is equal to eight. For a polygon of N sides, measure of each interior angle will be the sum of all its interior angles, which is N minus two into 180 degrees divided by N. We put N is equal to eight in this formula. 8 minus 2 into 180 degree divided by 8 simplifies to 3 by 4 into 180 degrees, which is equal to 135 degrees. So measure of each interior angle is 135 degrees. And measure of each exterior angle is much simpler. The sum of all exterior angles is always 360 degrees. So divided over n angles, measure of each exterior angle will be 360 divided by n. 360 divided by 8 is 45 degrees. A quick check. Interior and exterior angles are always supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. Indeed, 135 plus 45 is 180 degrees. So this verifies our answers for both parts of this question. In the next few questions, we are given some figures of polygons where we need to find the measure of X, which represents one of the angles. So try out. You may pause the video to do that. And once you're done, let's discuss. So friends, I will list down a few simple steps to get your answers correct. Step one is to count the number of sides. So one, two, three, four, 5 and 6. It's a hexagon. 
n is equal to 6 here. Step 2 is to find the sum of interior angles which we know is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. 6 minus 2 into 180 calculates to 4 into 180 that is 720 degrees. So rest assured now we know that the interior angles add up to 720 degrees. In the final step we add all interior angles equate that to 720 and find our missing variable x. 140 plus 150 plus 90 plus x plus 130 plus 90 is equal to 720. All the numbers on the left hand side add up to 600. Therefore, x is equal to 720 minus 600 which is equal to 120. That's our answer. Next is a similar question. We have to find the measure of x. As you can see in the figure, two of the interior angles are in terms of x. Let us discuss the answer. Step 1 is to count the number of sides. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It's a heptagon n is equal to 7. Step 2 is to find the sum of interior angles which we know is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees. 7 minus 2 into 180 calculates to 5 into 180 that is 900 degrees. Final step is to add all interior angles, equate that to 900 and find our variable x. x plus 102 plus 165 plus 123 plus bracket x plus 11 plus 128 plus 161 is equal to 900. Let us quickly sum up these numbers. They add up to 679. Clubbing these two variable terms, we get 2x plus 11 on the left hand side and right hand side becomes 900 minus 679 which is equal to 221. We further subtract 11. 2x is equal to 210. Therefore, x is equal to 105 degrees. That's our answer. In the next figure, we are given exterior angles of a polygon and we have to find the missing angle. Not to worry, the sum of exterior angles is always 360 degrees for any polygon. You don't even need to count the size to find out that it's a hexagon, which it is indeed. So let us add up the given exterior angles because their sum will be 360 degrees. 55 plus 90 plus 45 plus x plus 95 plus 25 is equal to 360 degrees. Adding up these numbers on the left hand side, we get 310. So x is equal to 360 minus 310. x is equal to 50 and that is our answer. And before we wrap up this topic, let us discuss one question which has multiple layers and to attend this question, you need to know all concepts that we have discussed in this video. So the question is, the sum of all the interior angles of a regular polygon is four times the sum of its exterior angles. What is the measure of each interior angle? Now in this question, even though they haven't asked explicitly, we need to find the number of sides of this polygon. That's the first step. So let us suppose the number of sides is n. It is given in the question that n minus 2 into 180 degree, which is the sum of all interior angles, is equal to 4 times 360 degrees. 4 times the sum of all exterior angles, which is 360 degrees. Simplifying, we get n minus 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, n is equal to 10. It's a decagon. Therefore, Measure of each interior angle 
will be n minus 2 into 180 degree divided by n. Put n is equal to 10 here. And simplifying this expression, we get 144 degrees as our answer. Well, here I would like to point out that the easier way was to divide this right hand side by 10. You will get the same answer effortlessly. So that brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do subscribe our channel IPM Leap. Here is a glimpse of other popular maths videos on our channel. Keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.